<laughs> you don't see the true form of your in-laws until in this case, in, in a marriage case, until the husband dies in most instances because the first gravitate is you killed our child. Mm. <laughs> Okay, Inda, what me? What's happening? What's going on? I don't think this mixer is gonna last. <laughs> what did you guys say? What do you say? There's just like a lot happening there. It looks like something is going to Uizin Yoga type person. Like you know when you go to, well, they are reputable for when you go to Soweto. Yeah, when they steal the electricity from next door, <laughs> and it's like that's just like that vibe going on there. Oh man, I'm loving this. I could do this all day, all night. What's going on? What's going on? I'm just talking about the cables. Yeah. No, you yes. look like a mechanic, Kave. <laughs> <laughs> Without the crack. Should I put the cables here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. Hey, we gotta look neat and proper. Pella, yes. we now on Super TV. Yes. Hey, channel still, 150. There's still one on your thigh there. Ah, no, this one is fine. This one That's is fine. A, yeah. Am yeah. I looking good? Yes. All yes. right. Okay. Soon we're going to need wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting good. <laughs> uh, welcome to this podcast and chill. We are back. The ghost lady is here. Lynn is here. I am here. Tabang is here. And guess what? For the very first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Turf. The, the Turf story is crazy, man. Because we've been working with this guy for like uh, a year now. Mm-hmm. He's the one who edits the, the, some of the stuff. Mm-hmm. And finally decided to come to Joburg. Mm. Yeah. Full time. Wow. I thought we were going to tell the crazy story. Which one? The turf story is crazy. You tell it. No, but like you were narrating so nicely. And then you're just like, okay, cool. He's finally here. It's like, if you, it feels like you just... Yeah, you, 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 you took people on a high... They're like, okay, cool, we're waiting for a story. And then there's no story. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, it's time. Okay, give us a story because there's so many. I've been with him since Wednesday, ne? Yeah, 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 I've been with him since Wednesday. No, I mean the story of him and how he got here kind of thing. Like, he took a plane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When did you start with Turf? Oh, with how, how, with the podcast? Yes. Oh, I asked him to do... Um, there was an Urban Sense ad mm. and it had animation. Uh-huh. Yes. So after that, I was like, fuck, this guy's dope. So ever since then, when I needed like animation, I called Turf. And he was like, oh, I can also do graphic design. I'm like, oh, cool, dope. And he's like, oh, I can also edit. You know, it just started like that. And then he got here. Uh, when he got here, the first thing he asked me is, where's Recharge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Recharge open, by the way? I think so. I went oh, past okay. it the other day. I think it's open. Okay. If you're an alcoholic place, if you're not open for on-site consumption, you're playing yourself. Mm. Yeah. But give, can, Tuff, can you grab the mic there? Tell us how your uh, three-day stay in Joburg has been so far. Has it been that? felt like he's been here like for two weeks because yeah. I've been seeing him like all the time. How's it been in Joburg <laughs> lately, bro? Um, You know, nothing much, man. There's nothing really different. You know, uh, for me, actually, you know, because like, it's not like I'm someone who's out there, you know, who can notice stuff and everything. Yeah. So it's more like I'm in East London. Because yeah. It's just a different place. I don't know if that makes sense. So I was telling him because like, I, when I picked him up from the airport, ne, so I'm like, hey, dog, you don't know me. I don't know you. What if I kidnap you and, you know, cut you up in pieces? He's like, as long as I can call my mother, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just let my mom know, you know, like, yeah. we'll meet on the other side. You know? But that's crazy for you to just take a leap of faith and just come to Joburg, dog. Not it's, knowing anyone. It's an energy thing, bro. You you know what I mean? And, you know, energy uh, is a big thing for me, you know. You feel when something is right for you. Yeah. And you feel when something is not really for you, you know. So if it wasn't for me, I wouldn't have come. But, like, it didn't feel like I'm taking a leap of faith. It felt like it's the right thing to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I'm here, bro. Nice. And besides, like, I feel like it's long overdue, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's profound. It yeah. didn't feel like taking a leap of faith. It felt like the right thing to do. That's profound. Dude, that's like us grabbing our bags, 
and going to America. I don't know anyone. <laughs> That's taking a leap of faith. <laughs> At least I don't travel no one. <laughs> so since we're super TV now, know you. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> okay. Since we're in super TV now, will you guys react like you haven't heard some of the stories I'm going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you haven't heard them. Ne? <laughs> you must act shocked. There goes lady. Are you gonna start now? Which one are you gonna? Let me help you with all the stories I know that you've told already. <laughs> I'll save the Trevor Noah one for okay. maybe another episode. You want to tell the Trevor Noah story again? Yeah, yeah. I but s- you must. <laughs> ah, so I'm not wired like that. <laughs> you must pretend like it's the first. I'm like, wow, serious? <laughs> yeah, you're not I'm wired. Not wired like that? No, I don't get that one. Okay, never mind. I'm still still early, bro. Okay. Cool. Let me get my feet, you know. Okay. But explain it. Why? The Trevor Noah story? Cuz it was on Why. And what do you call people who listen to YFM? Wires. Yes, I'm not wired like no, no, that. No. Oh. Yeah. Have it better. Oh. Hey, I'm not I'm not on a, I'm not on a pun audition here. It's okay. <laughs> like oh. like idols of puns. No. <laughs> I'm, so today I'm, I want to start the show differently, ne? Because okay. normally we play the game at the end of the show. Oh. So today I want to play a game beginning of the show. Mm. Okay, before we play the game. Yeah. So you realize now we've got four voices that are almost like on mystery auditions type thing. Ooh, I can't wait to see or I want to see what they look like. Yeah. It's Ghost Lady, obviously. Uh-huh. Then it became Tabang. Uh-huh. Then it became Travis. Black, uh, what's it? Black and Beautiful, what? Dark is beautiful. Yeah, dark is beautiful. That's his new name. Yeah, now. dark oh. is beautiful. Dark is beautiful. Oh, that's yes. I agree so much. Oh, dark okay. is beautiful. And then Travis. Ah, yeah. yeah. Travis was in demand after he came. For to real. Yes. Hey, hey. Some 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 lady was asking me Trevi, on Twitter Trevi. today, and some like, yo, so um, when do I get to see Trev? <laughs> Plus, he's, he's my age, so me and him can get along. Mm. Yeah. So now it is turf now. Yeah. Hey. Now, number four. Yeah. yeah. And there used to be Monday. Oh, fuck. There's Monday as yes, well. But Monday. Monday they got to see. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Fuck. There's a lot of people actually. Actually. That we haven't touched up with or touched base with. All the ghost ladies, 20,000 of them. Yeah. When are we going to call the first one? Yeah. Find out how she is. I thought you speak to her all the time. No. Why would you think that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I miss another one? <laughs> I missed another one. They broke up. It's okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So this is the game, ne? I want you guys to tell me three things about yourself, and one must be a lie, mm. and then we must try guess which one is a lie. Ghost lady first. All right, ghost lady, you ready? Um. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it just can be anything. Anything. Anything, anything about everything. yourself. Anything. One must be alive. One one must be alive. Yeah. Two must be true. True. Yeah. Okay. Um Ow. Yo. We don't have all day. You yo. <laughs> I just so many things came up. Okay. Uh, I I've done drugs. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you're going in hard, eh? <laughs> and like the drugs. <laughs> you said how many must be true? Two. Two must be true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then um. So must I'm make a up Christian. some. Yeah. I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. Uh huh. Okay. And I have a porn tape. A porn tape, sex tape. Yes. Mmm, that's a good one. Shit. All right, I'm going to go with... She's a Christian, yes, definitely. Hard drugs, yes. Porn, sex tape, yeah. I'm the gonna lie say is the... Hard drugs. The, the lie is the porn. I'm going to say hard drugs. She dated a drug dealer, remember? <laughs> For real? That one I didn't know. <laughs> oh, yes. I remember. Oh, yes. The, <laughs> the one who went to Sun City. Yes, but the prison, not the holiday destination. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he was a drug dealer. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, oh, but I'm still going to anyway. say hard drugs. I'm still going to okay. say drugs. All right. Porn. It's okay. a lie. Which one is a lie, Gosley? Uh, Porn. Ah, a lie. you don't have a sex tape. <laughs> 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 no, I deleted it. <laughs> oh yeah, it makes sense. Everybody's no, got a sex tape, no. man. 
You don't have one. Wait, no. who's everybody? I've never. You've never I've recorded never yourself. Liked the idea. No. You've never recorded yourself. I've never no. recorded myself. You lie. I've. You never say I lie like you were there, like <laughs> I, yeah, you are recording, Chief. <laughs> I've no. seen you. <laughs> <laughs> why? It's just never been appealing. Mm. And also, like, why do I record and go back and be like, <laughs> ah, what, what are you doing, guy? <laughs> Obviously, you, while dating, definitely to hell no. I think don't ever record yourself if you're not committed to the person. But I think now it's like, oh, we must do it. And then we forget. Yeah. <laughs> and then think, ah, we'll do it again. Don't worry, tomorrow will. But it wait, just never happens. When you do it, do you agree with the person that you are about to indulge in quite as well? Yeah. Let's record what we're doing. Of course, of course. Yes. And then, but it feels like so, so, so acted out. Like, okay, cool. Because the moment of, Wanting to get to get into the yummy, mm. you know? It's very easy. You just put it's, the it's 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 like when do you have time? Like between putting on regardless of the, the the relationship status, when do you get time to put on a condom, kiss the person, then put on the camera, then do it just feels like a lot. No, no dog. It's, it's a Mac. You got a MacBook. Yeah. You just put it on. Yes. Record. Like you're doing a zoom. Yeah. And just <laughs> work. Like you're doing a zoom. <laughs> It's yours. meeting time. Henda, what do mean? And you must get the Zoom Pro because I get after 40 minutes, it dies. So, <laughs> no, that's me. For the rest of y'all, yes. <laughs> 40 minutes is enough. <laughs> yeah, no, 40 minutes is fine. It's, yeah. it's, it's more than enough. Yeah. Uh, all right, Len, give us your three. Yo. I've never dated a white girl. Mm. I that's gonna be too obvious. Um, I've never dated a white girl. I've never been to prison. Mm. Mm, that's a good one. And. I've been to Mpumalang. Ah, what do you mean? <laughs> That's a weak one. That's a weak one. Give us another one. Okay. I just gave you my three. Yeah. Let's work with the three. You're going to work with the three? Yeah, we'll work okay, with the cool. three. Okay, mm, cool. Never been to prison. Never been to Mpumalanga. Okay, he's been to Mpumalanga. Prison. What was the first one? Oh, dating a white girl. Dating a white girl. So you said you've never... Actually, sorry, no. I've dated a white girl. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've dated a white girl. I've never been to prison. Mm. And I've never been to Mpumalang. All right, the lie is da- uh, dating a white girl. Yeah. How yeah. far did you go with the white girl? I've never dated a white girl. So that was the lie. That's the lie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been to Mpumalanga. That is true. That's the only province in this country I've never visited. For real? Yes. You've never been to Mpumalanga? <gasps> I will take you there personally. That is the only country, I mean, sorry, the only province in this country that I have never been to. Are you serious? I've been to the Northern Cape. Yeah. I've been to the Eastern Cape. I'm in Gauteng. I'm always in the Free State. I'm always in the North. So you've West. never been to God's Window? No. Pumalanga's nice. Yeah. Though. yeah. I know it's the very scenic. Holes, the... I know it's scenic. I've, I've seen it on pictures. It's very nice, but I've never Sabi. been there. How come you've never been? I don't know, actually. Didn't you do a 2010 game there or something? Nope. That's the only... That stadium also counts as one of the only 2010 stadiums that I did not do. Oh. Mm. When did you go, Ghost Lady? To Pumalang. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when I was getting married. <laughs> Oh, I'm Nagas from there. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm learning so much on today's episode. Maybe I should have used that. <laughs> oh, I'm Nagas from there. Yes. Oh, shit. So I was man. literally on my family took me there for the traditional wedding. Yeah. Yeah. I remember we went there as a family trip uh-huh. to do like all the activities there. Fucking nice. It's very nice, ne? Beautiful. Yeah. Which celebrities are from Bumalang? Like people that are famous. Didi Mabuza. Yeah, well, that's one. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. yeah. The Who's deputy that? president. Oh. Do okay. you even know how he looks like? No. Nah. Ah. So you'd um, see him at a club and you be like... is from there. Yufanza? Yes. He's actually from the hood, my hubby's from. Which which hood? It's somewhere there. 
What is that place called again? Ma Emelo so. No, not Emelo, no. Oh. Isn't he from um in Nelspruit? The 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 hoods there. Is uh, Prince KB from there as well? Prince Isn't KB? he from Bloemfontein? Free yeah, State, Free State. Free State. Oh, yeah, Free yeah. State, Free State. And there's Rebecca Malope. Oh, nice. Yes, she's also from that side. Uh, who else? How long have you been from KZN? Eh? So no. did I. So did I. No, no. Euphonic is from... Um, uh, there's also this other DJ. Not anymore. Who tells me... Niggas are in the beat there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking shit up. Living his best life. Yeah, yes. yeah. I can't remember the rest, but there's a number of people from... So the, Malonga. So the hood that when are you from? How many famous people are from there? Oh, back in KZN. Yoka, Kasia, how? Like, where you from? Back in KZN? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. Alunga Shabalala. Oh, Alunga. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Um. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Where are the big Nas nice guys from? <laughs> yeah. From, yeah, no, no. But it's weird. I think like KZN has weird uh, 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 um, townships because like there's a lot of people who are famous from KZN, but never from like the same township. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, because like in Joburg, so to the so many, mm. East Rand, Pretoria. The, the list is endless. But Pretoria is is this person from Mamelodi? Are they from Harangua? Are they from this and this? But also Pretoria. But it's easy. It's, I suppose it's easy because yeah. it's not like a little. Like little remote townships, Kwamas, Kwawatwat, Kwan Debele, Kwawatwat, Kwad Vinas. Did you see? <laughs> and did you see how Pretoria people support Pretoria people? Just like KZN. Uh, I can't fuck around with Pretoria people. Mm, what happened? Nibra. Mm. Oh, those guys support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucked up. Like I know, no matter how big of a DJ you are. If you go to a club that is frequented by people who listen to Deep House, mm. especially in Pretoria, do not even dare play anything else that is not Deep House. Mm. They will deal with you categorically. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. House Twenty Two. Mm. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. They are. They are very. They are very specific people. Those ones. Eh? Okay. Like very, very specific. Nice. <laughs> Was it Mojava from yeah it, from Pretoria? Yeah, Mojava's from Pretoria. Yeah, Pretoria like is... Motion, yeah, Maporisa, mm-hmm. Focalistic, Elaine. Oh, that's a Didn't lot. Did you say Elaine uh... is from Venda? No, but she moved to Pretoria, guys. <laughs> 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 but we'll own it. <laughs> all right, cool. from no, it's, it's your turn now. It's your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Cubs from? He's been all around. Like okay. he's he, he once stayed in Pretoria and then Soweto as well. But okay. he's been like everywhere. <laughs> uh, you make him just look like a nomad, didn't you? <laughs> oh yeah, my three. Ne, before I forget, okay. Um, I have retired from DJ. Um, I know uh, what's his name? Choose the late Lebuhan Kitsane. Hmm? The late Lebuhan Kitsane. What about him? Him. Him. What about him? I know him. Okay. Yeah. And then the last one is, oh, I've had head while doing a radio show. The lie is you have retired from DJing. Yeah. Eh, wait, no. No, man. Because of the podcast and because gigs are not happening, that's it. Yeah, that's happen. exactly. So that's true. <laughs> It's not. It's not retired. <laughs> Just the gigs are not around. But yeah. if you, this, he, was fo- he was forced into retirement. <laughs> so if that's how like we an, go, we'll like understand. an injury, yeah. forcing a soccer player to stop playing. Early soccer. retirement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not like we took a package on something like, "Hi, I'm done." <laughs> like you're sitting at home <laughs> with your Sasa card. <laughs> so radio show studios have cameras. So I don't think you would take that risk. Ah, what happens under the table? I think the lie is knowing Lebuchak. And you guys, lady? The head during the radio or your broadcasting. Ah. Shit, what is the lie? I think I, this is all true. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> what is the lie? <laughs> Look at you, you forget your own lie. Oh fuck, there's no lie. <laughs> Shit. He's forgetting his own lie. <laughs> No, because I do want to retire from radio. I mean, for retire from radio, from DJing. You what? I want to retire from DJing. You Why? want to? Yeah. You want but to. you said I have retired. Okay, then that's the lie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why would you want to retire? Ah, it's like it's not the same, man. Everybody is doing it now. Like even my kid can start DJing. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's lost that thing for me. And he'll mm. be friends with kind of who's that other boy? DJ AJ. AJ. Yeah. 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 Friends with AJ. <laughs> like everybody's just DJing now. It's lost that thing for me. You know, yeah. they'll be the new fresh new phony. <laughs> 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 the BBBs are very. Kitsa, <laughs> I know Lebukang Kitsa. Mm. Yeah, the tombstone guy. Yeah, the Rakhadi. So you know Rakhadi? No, I don't know Rakhadi. Ah. I know him. He's the one who sold me paparazzi. Remember the club I used to have in the East End? Oh, okay. Yeah, he sold me that. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shame. Yeah. Cool guy, man. No. Fuck, and I remember when I met him, well, one of the very few last times I, I saw him, mm-hmm. he took me to Mayerton, where he was building his house for his family. Mm-hmm. Fucking huge house. Never seen a house that big. Like these houses in that estate, they have like um, helicopter pads. What? That can land in the house. So he was oh, showing me on, on top, on top, on top. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. So he was showing me you like they're watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> so he was showing me the house that he was building for 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 his kids. They were literally still building. Wait a minute. So you knew the guy? Yes. Like, was it? You met him by mistake or like Le Sol? No, he sold me the club. Paparazzi. So after he sold me, then we started hanging out. I, would, I even went to Bataung, uh, the funeral parlor that he had. And one of the very last things I said to him, I was like, dude, how do you sleep at night uh, making money off dead people? Mm. And he was like, somebody's got to do it. Mm. That was like one of the last times I saw him. Mm. But the guy's a hustler, dog. Fucking hell. The guy mm. had money for days. And he was telling me how like um, at 21, it was like a million and stuff. And he had so much money, but he lost it because of a woman. Like he spent all that money on a woman. Yeah. You know? And then, um, so when I saw what happened with Rakhadi, because I was, actually my woman showed me that clip because I was sleeping. I Uh I was on my phone. She was on her phone. Mm. And I can hear this drama on her phone. I'm like, it was that. You know what? And then she showed me that clip of Rakhadi saying whatever she said. And then after that, she was so intrigued with that clip. She wanted to see the full clip. Mm. So she went on YouTube and whatever to watch the full clip. I don't know if you've seen it. There's a, uh, the, the guy, the news guy, he kills me and he goes, and then there was drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the news guys, they capitalized on that. You know, yeah. Like so I'm news. watching this whole Rakhadi thing. And then towards the end of the clip, they showed a picture of Liu Khang. I'm like, shit, I know that guy. That's the guy who sold me the club. Mm. Crazy, man. Wow. Small world. Yeah. And I still owed him, but hey. <laughs> Drop that Draw Romeo. <laughs> I remember the, the last you time you WhatsApp me, no? I think I was, uh, it was a Dineo interview. So I put it up as my WhatsApp status, like the teaser. <laughs> and then he WhatsApp me. He's like, hey, you still owe me, young man. <laughs> <laughs> At a block <laughs> You have no shame uh, Shame revolutionary guy uh, yeah. What did you guys think about that When you saw that Rakhari thing In the beginning I was uh, Can I have a drink there bro Can you rock me there as well Because this is going to be a long conversation Yeah In the beginning I was Like yeah Rahad, sure. Like, some truths need to be heard. And it's true, it's true. Why should we let sleeping dogs lie and not expose certain things that happen? Why? Because, 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 listen, I said in the beginning, that's part one. Oh. Uh, Because as people, we, 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 that's the word I'm looking for. We grieve differently. And, you can't negate somebody's pain and how they sort of like express their pain, especially where death is involved. Cool. That was my stance. And then I called my mother. My mother was like, Rahadu Sele. Rahadi Usele. 
And what the journey that she took me through was she she always had she had issues with her in-laws, but they were like which is usually the case. Yes. Mm. But you don't have any issues with the in-laws, Nicholas no, Lady. No. You guys are clean. So far, so good. Okay. But you see the true form. Of Naga is in- alive. <laughs> that's all that that's matters. Where, that's where I'm going. You don't see the true form of your in-laws until, in this case, in, in a marriage case, until the husband dies in most instances. Because the first gravitate is you killed our child. Mm. And then you will get dragged and you will get dragged. All sorts of names and not allow you to mourn in peace. In peace. So the long and short of it is in the beginning, I was for Rahad. Mm, you were sympathetic. I was sympathetic to her and what she did. But then I got to hear the other side of the story. Mm. Not, not the story from that family. Because the, the, the wife never said anything. Ne? I thought the lady that went to hit Rahadi was the wife. That's the daughter. That was the daughter. Ne? Oh. Crazy. Oh. So she's not said her side of the story. The wife. To who? Mm. Also. It's a family thing. Maybe if there's a story to be told, it should be dealt with as a family. And there's two sides to each story again. Mm. So if they're blaming somebody for killing somebody, then effectively what it means is, can I have my day in court? Mm. As it were. Mm. So, yeah. What did you think, Kosli? Honestly, um, as Len says, at the end of the day, okay, it was just not appropriate to even address this issue there. Yeah. At the funeral. Yeah. For what, well, how, how does it help? Yeah. It's not like the guy would rise and wake up and say, yes, thank you. Thanks, CC. You spoke for me. Because mm. you don't know at the end of the day, you also do not know what the guy was doing. Mm. So there's two sides to a story, number one. Mm. And we don't know what other deceitful things that this guy has done towards this woman. You know, oh, now let's say, yes, if this, if this did happen, address it privately. Mm. Now it's on the news and you're just out there. You are Rahadi of the nation. <laughs> but here's an interesting question. When is it right to tell the ultimate truth as truth is? Write a book. <laughs> About a person who died. Yeah. Write a book. So if he's a douchebag, at his funeral, must I glorify him? Is that like the modus operandi? No. The no. one was like, okay, I'm called up to speak about. You let's... speak for friends. So therefore, yeah, yeah, we take but, a friend. But, but if, if my friend lived his life in a certain way, and this is why I was, in the beginning, I was saying, yeah, no, Rahadu Sharp. Like, yeah, the truth must be told. So if I've got a friend who's a murderer and who scams people and he's a forex trader. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot of those. <laughs> Nice cars. And he's busy defrauding uh, <laughs> old women yeah. from villages there. When he dies, must I stand up on a podium, come memorial service, and say he was he was loving, he was kind, he was a people's person. But that's what I always say. Remember I said to you guys, I said, while you're on this earth, fuck shit up as much as you want. Because when you die, everyone, no matter if you're a forex trader, uh, we'll have rapist, good things to say about, whatever, about you. It's going to be like, he was a good guy. But you see... You, That's all. You, with that, exam, that, that example that um, Lynn has made, for instance, if your friend was doing that and you guys were together, it's one thing if you come up there on that podium and it's a known thing, whatever, that you know what? We'd messed around, me and my friend. We used to we'd, hijack we'd, cars. Yeah, we used to hijack cars and all of this and watch what, watch what, whatever your story. But you're speaking, you're not accusing you're not coming there and saying and now trying to make another person bad. Mm. Or you are there trying to say, no, actually, I just want to talk about uh, so and so as the But one what Len is saying is, when do you bring it up? When is the right time? To bring it up what? To say, no, Whatever. we used to. When a person is alive. Mm. Not that when they are dead. Mm. 
Otherwise, when you die, I'll try to throw all my sins upon you. Mm. And then just to make me say, feel better about myself. So basically what you're saying is, at a place like that, no matter how fucked up you are, the modus operandi is just to celebrate you. No, I don't say celebrate you when we know that you are trash. No. Here yeah, lies rubbish. Yes. Can we say that? No problem. If that's what you are all in agreement as a family. No, but I get it. I'm, I'm called up as a friend or maybe uh, a family member. Mm. And I'm supposed to speak. But in my, okay, I, I and I know say, don't be disrespectful and, be, and it becomes distasteful. Uh, yeah. Okay. But I'm just saying, you, you, you can talk as a friend if it's known that you guys... So you can say something like, he had his demons. Yes. Oh, and we, and we, we all know yeah, about them. We, <laughs> so basically, when it's a memorial service or a funeral, mm. everything has to be PR. Mm. I'm asking. Yeah, I guess so. Rakhadi didn't get the memo. Yeah, no, no. Rakhadi did not get the memo. Dude, why did that resonate with the country so much? Like, people even changed their statuses. Rakhadi of... But what, what, what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's... It was crazy, right? <laughs> it was. Maybe wrong place to act the way she acted, like she's saying. But every family or somebody who's married or whatever has one of those, I suppose. Yeah. But that thing showed me. We all know of someone who has gone through that. Or somebody who's gone through that. Like there's always that rude Rahadi or that Rahadi that wants to make sure that everything goes through me kind of thing. Yeah. If I don't make it happen, it's not going to happen. One thing it showed me is that men can't handle cheating. Because the guy was in hospital for... Allegedly. Don't say... If you're going to go on the subsequent stories about the cheating thing. story, yes. It's alleged. Yeah. I was getting there. Okay. Ah. This one. <laughs> he survived renal failure, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. And then he went back home. Mm. Got COVID. Mm. Mm. Went back to the hospital for five weeks or something. Mm. Came back. Found out his wife is allegedly. Mm. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> curtains. <laughs> that threw him out. Yeah. But I guess, if he, I, I guess uh, with his, whatever problems he had health-wise, I, I guess it was leading to that. Because he had suffered. A yeah, lot. But he survived. He survived, yes. And then the lead cheating was too much. It took him. <laughs> it was too I much. Don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> think it was too much. I, I just think, think it was his t- time. It has nothing to do with the, if there was an alleged te- cheating, it just, his time had come. Yeah. God was like, come back, my son. And then Rahadi arrived. It reminds me of what, what Chris Rock once said. He's like, Mandela survived prison for 27 years. He came out and couldn't survive Winnie for six months. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this shit. <laughs> what, what did Winnie do? Yes, too much. What did Winnie do? Mm. Wasn't she allegedly? Ah, I this no. alleged thing. Hey, fucking allegedly. I, but no, wait. Allegedly means um, wait, this is the truth but I don't want to get in trouble. No, you know what? You know what? Wait, guys. The thing is here, I think with another debate that was being, is that how many times men cheat mm-hmm. and died cheating, right? Yeah. And then women are there just quiet. We never know women or even a malume, mm. even the, all the other men and friends will keep quiet knowing full well the wife would be crying there or all these stories and mm. there's even side chicks mm. crying at the funeral. Mm. But people will be all diplomatic mm. and pretend like, mm. but then now it happened if it did happen so why eh? yeah why that's a good question why are you asking me yeah or looking my way no i'm saying talk talk for your gender hmm? talk for your gender. So spokesperson. I'm, the, I'm the spokesperson of <laughs> yes, men yes yes ah, yeah, yeah. look it's it goes back to patriarchy patriarchy has already has always protected men for the longest of time yeah and it's weaved into society like that um i'm not saying it's right mm. i'm saying that's what happens um, I can also, I, I expect to be forgiven when I cheat. Going back to what he was saying earlier on. I mean, if I cheat, mm-hmm. I expect to be Allegedly. Forgiven. No, I said, that's what I'm saying, if not when. Because now it sounds like I'm preparing something. <laughs> if I cheat, I'm going to go ask for forgiveness. Ah, baby, you are just tripped and fell and next thing things happen. But if she does, she's not even going to get five minutes to explain herself. She is out of my life. Mm. And we have normalized that. Yeah. Um, if a woman che- if a woman cheats, the in-laws will drag her for filth. Mm. 
But mm. if the man cheats, say si, begazelle. But mm. where are the men who can say, I can begazelle if my wife or my girlfriend is cheating? Where are those men who can come up and say, you see, Tef, Tef is one of those guys. Ladies. Ah, Tef from East London, you can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with uh, a... He has an experience life. Yeah. Oh, because a woman, you just have to accept or no shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. I'm kidding. Next thing, all of Kosa people will kill me. No, but like, it's, 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 it's... Uh, uh, how many terms are there? There's not a lot of us. Mm. And also, it does not speak... It does not but speak... But wouldn't you want to be a better man and be like tough? Also, it's, it's... Accepting cheating is being a better man. Yes. Or being a better person. Actually, let's not even say a better man. Yeah, better person. And we might as well fuck around. I told you, they're going to send your funeral. He was a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> let's fuck around. <laughs> let's. Let's fuck around. But you're going to forgive, ne? Eh? You're going to forgive. I I'm doing it. And we're coming to an agreement. It's like no. an open marriage. Yes. So also you... Or open relationships. So you Pumangena, Pumangena, it's open. Okay. As long as you forgive, we have room. But you shouldn't forgive. You shouldn't even be touched. By who? No, 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 no. Your, your side chick can touch you. But emotionally, you shouldn't be touched that your person has cheated on you because you kind of open those floodgates. Did you guys see the $6 billion city that Akon wants to build in Senegal? Wakanda-esque. Mm. Mm. Did you it's, see it's Where a, is he? It's, it's, it's been a story. He's that's in seen. Senegal, clearly. <laughs> Logged up. <laughs> in Senegal. No. That, that story has been going on for a couple of years now. It's happening. Yeah, now it's happening. Mm. Yes, there are plannings that he wants to, to build this city and obviously um, it will spread to having a current, one currency in Africa. There's yeah, a, he's going to have that casinos. Will, mm. That will never happen. He's going to have casinos, restaurants, everything, like fucking Wakanda vibes, mm. real life. Mm. What do you think of that? Noble idea. Though. What do you think of that? It's good. Yeah. It's good. I fucking love it. Man. Yeah. yeah. For the fact that it's actually coming to... You know, I've always had an idea, no? Because like when I go back home to Venda, there's so much land, right? I was like, shit, if I had Trevor Noah mining, I'd build like a Sun City, Gold Drift City vibe and call it Noah's Ark. Okay, that's not the <laughs> response I was, <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> so is it like a zoo? <laughs> So, only, only find male and female animals. It's like one of each, two elephants. So you want to you want to have a zoo in Venda? Is that what you want? <laughs> like you want to? Uh, you don't see the vision, dog. Imagine a sun city in Venda. Okay. Right. You, you, and then the strip, the, the thing, when he's, before you enter, I get to go to sun city, they yeah. have the gates there. Yes. It says Noah's Ark. Oh, okay. Yeah. You get in there, everything's there. Casinos. Oh, because you want it to be if you're a driver, Noah. Yeah. Oh, I get hey, it Trev, now. this is what I have to deal with, bro. <laughs> Fuck me. Did you get it, Lynn? That he wanted to I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but you want to do this with Trevor's mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> but I got lost at like he's just building a zoo in Venda. <laughs> Like, okay. I know, I got, I got, I was like, okay, so you like, want to build a zoo. Until I, I was like, no. Okay, let me give you another idea. I'm within. Let me give you another idea. Hmm. All right, imagine an app, ne? Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, how many? Are you an app store? <laughs> Jeez. But carry on. It's kind of like Tinder, but for businesses and investors, hmm. right? Because you know, like with black people, the number one thing that we all complain about is not having funding, Right? So if you get uh, people that have startup companies, like T-shirts. <laughs> Leave me alone with that. <laughs> and whatever they got here. Ne? CV and then, printers. Yeah, and then the investors are here. And if they like the business, they click match. You know, mm. like on, on Tinder. They can DM each other. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's a dope idea. That's ah, a dope idea. There we dope go. Yeah, it's nice and, press, 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 hey, press. and then we build Noah's Ark. <laughs> 
drop with the, the money, <laughs> with the profits. <laughs> that would be dope, don't you think, though? That's very nice. No, no, that's a very, very, very brilliant idea. Yeah. That is something that should. Yeah. Does it know I have naming rights to his name in the arc? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, who? Yeah, like both Jacob, Joseph. Does, does, is, is the name Jesus trademarked? I'm curious. No. I'm, I don't know. Should we Google? Should I Google? You can. Let me Google. But you get more Yasus. Yasus. But yeah, you just... Gabriel tweak, Yasus. You just, you just tweak the pronunciation. I can never say Gabriel Jesus. I can't. I can't bring it to you. Yeah, myself. that's the thing. So it's easier to say Yasus. But his name is Jesus. It's yeah, not, Jesus. So I think in... in, 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 in is Jesus trademarked? No, in this case, we're not talking about Gabriel. Uh, what was I going to say? The J in a lot of Spanish. Wow! In 2007, the US Patent and Trademark Office granted ownership of the word Jesus to Jesus Jeans, owned by a public, publicly traded Italian company, giving them company exclusive rights in America to sell clothing bearing the name Jesus. The Jesus Jeans trademark applies to clothing articles, including jackets. Oh. So in America, they, know, they own the name Jesus. Wow. Hmm. But you can go to America and make Jesus juice. Mm. I, from what you just read now. It's just closing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But anyway, what app would you want to have? If you could design an app. I've thought about so many. I'm, I don't know. Nothing comes to mind. You go slate? For the ladies. For the ladies. For the ladies. Mm. Maybe one when he's cheating. Yeah, like we reports. Yeah. Heat map. Like when. when <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's like load cheating, you know? X comes to push. Like notification. <laughs> it's, it's cheating. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> no, no. You know what? You know what? It's, an, it's a, like an app where you should put up a picture of him. Eh? Yeah. And then. <laughs> it runs through databases of other people's phones. Match. Match. <laughs> In Tom Zotto's phone. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Yes, yes. Yeah, just put a picture up, up. Like, okay, yeah, this is what I want to find out about him. It's like it's our Google. Yeah, you know they say if a guy approaches you, like Google him, find out what's all. What is it all about? Put him up. But the the, the iPhone is literally like a trap because I like, get it tracks where you are and you can go back and see the heat map. Mm. It yeah. literally gives you a breakdown of. So I get reports every month of my travels. Yeah. I hate the it. way I clock, it clocks. And what I've noticed, I think it picks up habits or there is a setting that I have done that I'm not sure about. So, on Monday morning at about 8, 9, eh, it will say, it will take you 10 minutes to get to the office. Mm. Only from Monday to Friday. Mm. Even if I'm on leave, it will yeah. be like, it takes you 10 minutes. And around 3, half past 3, 4, it will tell you moderate traffic. You will take 12 minutes to get home. Hmm. Because those are the frequent routes that I do at those times during those days. The craziest was on Sundays at about 3. It will say it will take you this much to time get to, to get to Ghost Lady's house. Mm. When do you come to my house? Because you didn't mention Thursday. Where am I there? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever invited me to your house? <laughs> it used to do it with the house in Mitra and as well, actually, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, around, it was around 5, 6. Cause that's on YouTube. Mondays. On Mondays when we were recording yeah. from your house. Yeah. Yes. It, would, it did that as Shit, well. Shit, speaking about houses, a friend of mine was telling me, because I just recently moved, ne? I moved in this week, and I was saying I have to have like a cleansing ceremony thing. Do you guys do that? Is that no. the thing? Cleansing? Hey, I don't know what it was. It depends with your feet, your beliefs. Yeah, yeah. If you feel like you, you need to cleanse the house of whatever spirits it had before, that's your So belief. if I do, what do I do? No, no, it will... You'll have Dif- to fight different different strokes yeah. with different folks. Oh, yeah, people some people will just pray, so I can christen it and then yeah. reshap. Yes, have sex in all the rooms reshap. That's it. Or just have a housewarming party reshap. Yeah, I don't mm. know what anything. Different strokes. Like what I, did you do for your house? Christine? I did nothing. Um, mm. uh, I just moved. And in. the pool is still here. Yeah. 
There's no bad vibes. So we christened the pool. <laughs> there are people. If it's sex in the pool. We'll <laughs> no. We're not gonna look at you the same. <laughs> ah. I know the salt, and like there's a certain type of salt and candles and candles mm. and paraffin. I think that you mix in water and you crop up the house with that. Mm. That helps. Move out the spirits that were there, type of vibes. Mm. I don't know. I think maybe you do such things when, for 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 instance, if you moved into a place, or as you're moving, you find out, oh yeah, actually, the person who used to live here died inside the house. Would oh, you stay there? Damn. No, 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 no. That would be freaky. But you how already you signed know? in. I get. Yeah. How do you even know? How do you even know? Ah, maybe you can. Oh. Like, oh, you live here. Like neighbors also. Oh, yeah. Hey, neighbors talk. Mm. Yeah, it's like, oh, you live here, bro. Oh, welcome. Yeah, no, like, yeah, the guy used to live here. Like, yeah, dude, like, craziest thing happened. He blew his brains out. Eh? <laughs> 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 now you're feeling like, oh, I'm feeling suicidal now. There no. you are holding groceries <laughs> from Kim Pei, like, eh? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Yes. What do you do? Do you pick the groceries or you like fuck that shit? I ain't sleeping in this house nah. no more. Allegedly, the wife was cheating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you're looking at your wife like in a certain so way. I'm like, like hey, Sinyama is it gonna stay? Yo. Is my woman also gonna cheat? Like, uh, how do you bypass no. those things? It's I just live, feel like it, you separate yourself from people's issues. Mm. Yeah. But it could be an energy thing as well. Yeah, I'm big on energies, man. Did you feel some type of way when you entered a new place? No, no one has stayed there, luckily. We're the oh. first ones to move in the oh. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh. mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> but you see, when we got our house, it was because the guy they lost the wife. <sighs> Allegedly, yeah. she cheated. No, she she died. <laughs> she oh, died. She died. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. So Damn. she was sick for a while. Damn. And we got it from the neighbors. See, the neighbors talk, told us the whole story. Hey. <laughs> We're like, oh, shame. Best indication. Yeah. When but then when we're but yeah, and it was recent. You? But the thing is now when when we're seeing the guy, he had a nice young one. Hey. So it was like, oh, now we have to keep a secret to the neighbors that hey, but he's got some boat. Damn. Yeah. Where going was Rakhadi? Yeah, you know. <laughs> going back, going back to your earlier conversation. Mm-hmm. Eh? Uh, when is the right time? To what? To you see with a woman. Firstly, they drag you by. If in Susutu by Bita Tapo, you have to wear a certain type of clothing mm, or put a certain mm, type mm. of. of, of when to, your partner passes away. Yes, mm. To mourn for. Yeah. It and differs men, for three that, years, five, uh, well, not five years, like three months, six months, one year, what, what, in, in. And the men have this small little badge in your energy. Yes. They put a badge. No, 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 not Tabang. He's still mourning. Why? <laughs> he killed the pussy, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> On Valentine's Day. <laughs> You're a murderer. <laughs> You're a whack murderer. <laughs> hey, that went south very quickly. <laughs> you are killing it, boy. You're murdering it. <laughs> no, no, no. What if Tamang had just a good evening that just was meant to be to just lost for that evening? Ne? Oh, <laughs> he was murdering. <sighs> anyway, yeah, you're saying. Or the dick could have been strangled. You don't know. You went there. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, it's, you are the survivor. Ne? Yeah, shame. Yeah, it wasn't even 1-1. One, one. No. They both scored. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Mm. Yes, but it's anyway, okay. going back to what I was Sometimes saying. Sometimes men also have bad experience, guys. What? It's okay. Mm. It's okay. You've... Um, Tabang agrees. Okay. Yeah. He's had bad experiences. Yes. So I'm saying, like, you see patriarchy and aligning itself. Like, women have to mourn a certain way, men have to mourn a certain way. Mm. Eh? Mm. Um, I know in my family, okay, no one in my family watches this podcast. I know in my family, when my aunt, one of my aunts died, my uncle got remarried, I think, inside eight months. Mm. But they, if the 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 there were people in the family who had issues with that, and some people were like, including my mom, I was like, ah, dude, he's old, it's fine. When my mom, when my dad passed away, uh, 
one of the instructions that she was given was that no man must ever come into our son's house. Mm. My mom was like, you know what? If I want to start dating, I can do it tomorrow. Mm. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not interested in dating. Mm. I'm okay by myself. Yeah. So you see, when the man got married, and I'm, I, 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 I saw this across two families. So when a man got remarried inside eight months, it was okay. One or two people had an issue, but they had an issue on the side. But when a woman, before she can even think, think. about getting married, yeah. they already come into her on some, no other man is going to come into this house. Has your mom dated ever since? No. Serious? Yes. My mom, my mom said categorically that my dad was the love of her life and no one else will replace him. Mm. So there's, no, there's no one in her DMs or WhatsApp. She doesn't have those. She's WhatsApp WhatsApp group? Them. WhatsApp group. No. So she never says like, hey, you know, I wish. You see, your mom is a teacher. Like, why is he principal? She has learned. She has learned. Imagine. Is that how office relationships begin as teachers? Mkuri come table next to us. Uh, give me the, the list of the naughty ones. It's <laughs> about punish for you. <laughs> but isn't a principal dog? <laughs> ah, shit. So just, just what it is. All right, cool. Let me go through some of the stuff that our producer wanted us to talk about. All right, cool. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Why do they have to be red? Why don't they just come seamless? No, yeah. I, wa- I want to know if you guys want to talk about them or not. But then why don't uh, DJ Spoo, more fire, fizzy drinks. Big ups. Nice oh, one. Oh, I DJ saw Spoo. that. Oh, that was beautiful. fucking smart, eh? Very keep, smart. Keep, 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 yeah. keep growing. Because, you know, I think I'm going to use it as sponge. You know, the lemonade. Dash with it. We must make tonic water. Mm. Mm. Uh, what do you think Spoo's going to sell us next? I think he's close to selling us air, bro. No, he must expand. Mm. On this, uh, uh, like you see now, he's on fizzy drinks. He must just take over. Mm. Make it juice, make it water, whatever. You know what? I think he had water before. You know what's crazy? There's nothing he hasn't sold. Mm. You know what's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? Man, you know what's crazy? <laughs> More fire. No, you're going to make me lose my trail of thought. You know what's crazy? And sorry for the brand mentions. Uh, what Zbu identified was. Something that a lot of people actually did not identify. Kingsley. Yes. Do you know Do you know how many Kingsley trucks are always in transit mm. delivering Kingsleys around the country? Yeah. Mm. I get a little bit of Woolies. You can afford. Um, hey! 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 Hey now! <laughs> Who, you are the principal? <laughs> <laughs> Drop that fucking... Thing. He supplies mommy. <laughs> 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 so maybe he's the one who wants to buy you a car. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Hmm? no. Okay. You got a stepfather you don't even know. <laughs> no. Imagine. No, I don't have. We have we have such a relationship that anything that is new, we discuss it. Mm. She can't do anything without having a chat with me and I'm okay with it. Okay. But we're just kidding, by the way. I hope yeah. we're not stepping too far, no? Mm. Yeah. Because I know you love your mom. No, 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 don't worry yeah. about it. Relax. Okay. Okay. Do you want a prayer? See, now I lost my trail of thought. <laughs> no, Kingsley. Kingsley, Kingsley. There we go. Kingsley. Kingsley. Yes, 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 Kingsley. That soft drink market <laughs> has become so expensive. Mm. A two liter of Coke that was like maybe oh, like yeah, true, true, mm. true, It's now like true. 20. At the garage, it's worse, yes. dog. Oh. Yo, so, you know, 100 bucks at the garage is nothing. Yeah. No. So now, if you're going to buy a two liter of Coke. And as gen- what I've noticed as well is from my from what I've seen, a lot of the Kingsley's and the, I forgot the other, the other brand, they are bought just like that by a lot of general workers and whatever and whatever and whatever. For Have life. you ever tried? No. They look like they don't taste good because but they're it's popular. A, it's a perception I have. With, um, you know that thing that breathes fire that, Fire, that, that energy Dragon. drink yes that, yes that breathes fire yeah yeah I was avoiding to say the name of the brand that one yes, yes. 
my perception is I would never touch that thing. Mm. That's my perception. Yes, mm. yes. That's me with Kingsley. I have oh. a perception, but I think I can. I should only talk once I've tasted. No, I just heard that uh, there's a Kingsley Ward in Paraguay. Eh? Uh, yes. What do you mean? Do you know about that land? Mm-mm. Actually, there was a rumor that I heard that there's a Kingsley Ward in Paraguay. So oh. when you drink Kingsley, you'll end up <laughs> go Paraguay as a ward. I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah. nope. So that's said. so that's where I think. <laughs> <laughs> Who pets your kings? <laughs> Have you been to Barra in your life before? I've been past it. <laughs> because you don't drink kings. <laughs> when I go lady, have you been to Barra before? No, no. Okay. Why are you asking that? No, I'm just curious. Yeah. Yes, I, you, we, we always drive past. I'm just yeah. curious if you've been inside. Nah, no. never, never. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think that was the cunning, the smartness of Zbu going into the fizzy drink market. Yeah. That is literally a market that is a sitting duck and Kinsley has shown that like yo this is how you can exploit it mm. and boom 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 Bob is your uncle uh, Boiti launches her own fragrance Boiti Pink Sapphire love it love it you love success. it success no I'm saying Black Charles oh, love it man oh, love yes. it oh, it definitely is <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no I'm just happy when all these celebrities are finally starting to wake up to yeah. the fact that listen it's, you need to do further and just it's not Close enough to just um, be an ambassador for a Revlon or whatever, because that comes and goes. Yeah, you know. But if you have your own product, it's a legacy. Yeah. It lives forever. Yeah. So I always like it when like um, our fellow entertainers. Yeah. Uh, like now you know you've got a perfume. Exactly. Yeah. To wear. Bro. We need to get to a level where yeah. you are wearing perfume, yeah, boy tea. Yes. You're wearing Tepo jeans. Yes. You're drinking Kingsley. No, what is it? <laughs> Grandjo, damn it. Grandjo. And then you are dashing it with more fire. fire. More fire. Yeah. You are wearing batu. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But we had. Did we not have this discussion though? No, yeah. we're on Super TV now. Oh, yeah. okay. So, that it's null and void. Oh, okay. So, so act surprised there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you know what? Another thing I was even wait. Thinking. Is it a, wait before we go? We go before you go far. And I'm asking because I don't know. Is yeah. it a perfume or is it an aide toilette? Mm. What's that? What's the difference? That's what I'm trying to understand. Add to let. <laughs> eh, how do you say yes, it? Yes, it's to let. Idu to let. What's that? Yeah. There's a per, it says there's a difference Magaiva, between perfume. Sheva. It's a different thing. Brut. That's Sheva. the one I know. That's a perfume, I think. <laughs> there's a, cause Allegedly. Because I, I was gonna say there's a difference between Brut and Christian Dior Sauvage. Oh. Spray. Yeah. Deodorants. No, that's that's I almost said Vix. That's your style. <laughs> deep heat. Oh. Yeah, deep heat. Uh can I get Saadi? Uh. Yes. No, that's roll. That we know. That's that's cool. Uh. But I'm talking about the is it a perfume or is it an air de toilet? Sure. I have no idea, bro. Garu what a toilet. Kupa toilet. Because all like the the the, the sauvages of this world, the all these fancy Christian Dior's or the Tom Ford's and whatever, the bottles are labeled a uh, de toilette. Mm. When you met her, was she was she into perfumes? Who? Pointing. No, not really. Did she mm. smell nice? My sense of smell. You know what's funny about it? Did she smell nice? She was from church, so yes. Mm. Mm. How close were you when you smelled her? What did you hug her? No, we were sitting on the same two-seater couch. Mm. In like the Where were you? Nice. At home or in the I was the at bus? home watching the famous 4-3-8 cricket game between South Africa and Australia back in 2007. What was she wearing? A red dress. Hey! Mm. <laughs> Underwear? No, we were chilling. So she oh. wasn't wearing any? She wasn't wearing any. We were, ch- I don't know. Oh. We were chilling, watching cricket. Mm. And I was reading the Sunday so she Times. Even, uh, how? So she was watching cricket while you were reading? So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here is... You know, it's lit when he says that. <laughs> okay, please understand Let, something. I feel no, like you're no, describing no. a very happy home. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the husband is reading the Sunday Times. <laughs> Baby, she's <laughs> She's 
they were drinking That's the heads. You'd be like, baby, just check the score for me there. You know, she's already finished cooking. Uh, like, I just said the person was from church. Leave the cooking out. Exactly. So this is what, you okay, know, no, no, no. On no, no. a Sunday, let me tell mommy's what, from church. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> she, because I was dating her friend, she came to visit. You are playing house, ne? No. <laughs> and then, um, what my grandmother did. Mama le papa. Go back room. Hence reading the newspaper. <laughs> no, man. So my grandmother used to subscribe to the Sunday Times. Mm. Right? So every Sunday, it was without fail. I would go, take the, you know the whole paper boy thing? Yeah. Leave the yeah. paper there, yes. Yeah. Go take the paper, read the paper. But I was reading the paper that day, waiting for the, for the, for the cricket game to start. Mm. And then she came to visit. And then I was talking to her while going through the newspaper because I was not done with it. Were you that much not interested in her that you didn't even look at her? You're just there. Reading I feel like Sunday this guy. Boy, they know you, dog. If she sees you. Yes. She'll yeah. say, hi, Len. Muleko. Yes. Hi. Hi. I yeah. don't believe that. I don't believe that. No, oh, I, then, then call her. Tell her to come on the show. I don't have her number, but I know somebody who works with her closely. I'll speak to them. You know, Boiti, when she was growing up, Kopochi, her name was not Boiti. Nerimu Bita Baby. Baby, your baby. No, 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 no. Baby, <laughs> it's like a name. <laughs> so that day you are busy reading it like, hey, we're not baby. Hey, baby. It's before she actually branded herself Boiti. When last did you see Boiti? I can't remember. Some function when I was still attending those and I was still relevant, I suppose. And she remembered you? Yes, we actually even spoke. Mm. Mm. I remember that newspaper. Mm. No, man. I remember my red dress. No, oh, it was not. It was not that deep. Relax. Mm. Yeah. Fuck. Was it the I'm... times when Len you were still that young? You were still wearing underwear and Alibomba Spider Man. Is that how way back this is? No, this is way back. I was. I was. It, it's. It's my Billabong days. Ah. Mm. I was in varsity. So you were never interested in her. You never wanted to smash her. No. This after having I a threesome. I was her friend. So. That's never stopped anyone. <laughs> you had a threesome. <laughs> I was dating a friend, no. If you weren't dating a friend, would you have smashed her? She was also too young. Oh. Look at how old is she? How old is she? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on her age. Let me check how old boy it is. And how old, yeah. Because Len is 45. Eh? Len is 45. Boy, the age. 30 years. One more cheat. Um, yeah. Huh? Eh? Nothing. Eh? <laughs> she's 30 she's 30 she's 30 yeah, so she's, yeah but like she she was young at the time like it's you know that whole transition between and she was still in high school I was in varsity like in varsity that has never stopped anyone it stopped me mm, <laughs> you're a good man then you're a good man that's why you are Len <laughs> and that's why Poetty trusts you yeah yeah, yeah. so we're just having a chat yeah because yeah. yeah, we're catching up on stuff that we had Discussed, I don't know, during the week. It's back in the during the times of mix it, damn it. That's so how he, far back it is. When you see her this big, are you shocked? I've actually never thought about it. Mm. Mm. I've never thought about it. Kez I knew was gonna be big. You knew. Was this like a squad? No, why do you were you not part of the squad? Do you know? <laughs> it could have been big now. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> So when I was dating, wait, listen. Podcast when, and chill with Len. <laughs> when I was dating uh, Casper's Kez's brother, I mean, sorry, Casper's sister. Casper's brother, Casper's sister, yes. Casper's sister. Mm. Boiti was dating Kaz at the time. Mm. And they were in Porch. So it was like a one, like, double date sort of thing. Like, uh, so Candido was way, way back to that. Yeah. Oh. So when they dated during the prominent. Well, now when they got big. Yes. It was not the first time they started dating. They really liked oh. each other. I would like to think so. I think Casper liked Boiti more. It looked like it. Asaz. Oh. Oh, what do you mean you were there for the dinner dates, you Chief? Were there. Which dinner date? Oh. oh. Now I went on dinner dates with my girlfriend. And then Casper and Boiti yeah. were there. No, they weren't. <sighs> Didn't you ever go like on a double date? No. Never. No. Because I get it also, I was sort of like the older one in the group. Sort of like. You know? Oh. So it was like, yo, I'm here to see my girl. We go to McDonald's so and buy Kespa McFlurries. So Casper respects you, ne? He was... Even like he's, he's... 
he 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 acknowledge, he knows me. He acknowledges me because you know when we play soccer with him. Yes, mm. yes. He will be like, "Hey, Len, what's up? Omnate boy, sharp." It's a poch thing. Bar. It's a poch thing. Yes, it's um. Kinda who's the guy who never wanna get who never wants to get out of people's cars? Our children's guy, man. Yo, oh, he used to date boy T as well. Hey. Yes. <laughs> he never wants to get out of people's cars. <laughs> 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 there, 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 there. I'm sure it's yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, he's from Poch as well. Yes. Yes. So, so if all these people are famous, what happened to you? Ah, Len is famous. <laughs> uh, look at Len. How uh, did you miss oh, the boat? Oh, or the taxi? Look at Len. Look I at him. I actually got fame before they did. Mm. So mm. I got it as a like, cool shop. Dude, I was. Look at Len's resume. <laughs> I was probably the first person mm. from Poch to work at the coolest youth radio station in the country. Cheers. Sure. And how many have followed in your footsteps? <laughs> I ain't gonna tap my ankles. <laughs> Len, what's You're chilling it? around. <laughs> Len, you are big. You are big. You are you're right. you, yeah, you, no, 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 you, no, you, I'm kidding, man. You're the gate opener. Yeah? No, there's been there's, there's been many before me. I'm just saying in my own right, I had... And again, what I did for me was more... Because I came here to be a journalist, not necessarily mm. to become famous. Like So turf. you're not a gatekeeper, eh? Like turf. Oh, you, you came... came here just to shoot, not to be famous. Oh, yes. is it? Mm. So the fame just... Unfortunately, with what I was... The craft that I was doing, it just kind of put me on... Like now you're Leonce. On a, on a spotlight of... Oh... Uh, sports with Len in the morning, blah blah, blah and mm. all of these things followed, and and and, but it was never for me. It must just make sense what I'm doing. Like, That's what, I never made. I've I've never followed fame. It hey. just happened. Mm. It follows you, boy. It just happened to. <laughs> it, it just happened to be a shadow that walks with me. Oh wow! That's, all. <laughs> that's just. I that's like that. that. Simple. I like that. <laughs> anyway, we are here, man. This what are the most interesting you. jobs you've heard of? Actually, what? Interesting jobs that you've heard of. Are we cl- are we finished? Yeah, we're already in an hour and ten minutes. We'll are save it serious? for next week. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Let me put some announcements. Oh yeah, people have been asking me about uncut, so we have decided collectively. No. <laughs> <laughs> that we're gonna take a break on uncut and focus on the this, Monday. Did you no, get this no. On the Monday. Did, did you get this email? No, no I didn't. Oh, okay. Just like the yeah. prep, yeah. you didn't get this email. No, we eh? didn't get oh, it. Okay. Yeah. So maybe it's in the prep that we don't know. Or it's sitting in his outbox. Yeah. <laughs> So Uncut will be back But we're going to focus On the Monday episode now Because you're on Super TV And we've got to make it super uh, Also yes We're looking for uh, um, Like a cottage Backroom vibe for turf Around Midrand Ah Yeah Like a, Yeah Accommodation yes yes, yes 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 Which we're going to turn into a studio And do some dope shit So a chiller must give us their house So that We fuck shit up there In the back In the Yeah Yeah so yeah, if you've got a back room around like mid or or cottage or whatever, drop us a WhatsApp. Uh, what other announcements did I need to make? Fuck, dude, a lot of people have been asking me about t-shirts and the guys who were making our t-shirts, the company shut down oh. because of COVID. So now we need like a new <coughs> supplier. Service provider. Oh. I'm sure, Len, you know, a lot of those people that do t-shirts. <laughs> I scroll past them. <laughs> So, but now we need them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we need them. Yeah. So drop us a WhatsApp. So you are also going into that business as well. No, a lot of people have been asking about t-shirts, dog. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's whatever. And then what else? Yeah, that's about it. Anything else you want to say? Uh, nah, I can't think of anything right now. And you, ghost lady? Uh, just keep on loving yourself. If you can't love on yourself, love on another person. Mm, I like that. Mm. Ooh, I like that. Shit, say that again. Keep on loving on yourself. But if you can't love on yourself, love on another person. Ooh. Who will love you back? Ooh. You're very love-driven, eh? Yeah, I what happened? Love. Yeah. Did you get something this morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right, this has been Podcasting Chill. We out here, man. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, check us out on all the uh, podcasting platforms. Otherwise, we're on Super TV Mondays and Fridays. 10.30 p.m. 10:30. On Open View. Open um, View, yes. Quick question. Are yeah, we ever going to do 
the podcast webinar seminar th- seminar whatever you call Oof, it yeah we've been wanting to do it can you can you hit that dog i'm so busy right now bro tell me when to come i'll be there <laughs> <laughs> give me prep <laughs> google alert <laughs> No, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it, bro. It's fine. We we, do it. We'll do it during. We'll do it during an episode of Uncut. Me yeah. and Ghost Lady, yeah. the two of us together. Yeah. All right, In we love absence. you, man. We are here, podcast and chill. Boom. Enda.